Hi guys, welcome to this video on Short Straddle. My name is Saket and in this video, I'll be teaching you the entire strategy. I'll be giving you a proper framework of the entire strategy, when to enter, when to exit, then when to book your profits, what is the stop loss. So I'll be giving you each and every detail regarding the strategy. So this is made for your learning only. So make sure that you go at this at a very slow pace. Don't hurry. So you can like the video and keep it. It will be in your liked videos. You can go and watch it later or you can add it to watch later also. So do not hurry with the video. So I am going to give you each and every detail and we personally use this in optionables. So I hope you like the strategy. I hope you execute it and make some good profits also. So this video is divided into four segments. The first important segment is why people lose money. So I am going to give you reasons of why people lose money and then uh, we are going to discuss about it and then make sure that if we build a strategy, none of these points are going to be there in our strategy. Two, we are going to analyze the data and then build the strategy and I am going to show that to you. So first we'll analyze the data and then build the strategy. and. Three, I am going to show you all the statistics related to strategies. So uh, when we show statistics related to strategy, it will give you some confidence in execution. And finally, the fourth one is I am going to talk about margin management and risk management. This is the most important thing and I expect you to make sure not miss this at any cost. So watch it till the end and even if you miss anything in the middle, make sure you don't miss margin management and risk management. If your capital management and risk management is not right, trust me, you are going to lose money. So this is what we are going to discuss later. So hope you guys like the video. Hi guys, uh, welcome to this video on short straddle. We will be quickly moving on to the first section that is why people lose money. So we will try to understand why people actually lose money and we will make sure that we solve all of this in the strategy we build. So once that is there, you know that you have a profitable strategy at hand. So first, there is no consistency in strategy. When I say there is no consistency in strategy, uh, the problem is people are so fickle minded they don't stick on to a particular strategy today they are going to follow so the problem is people are not ready to stick on to one single strategy so let's say today they follow moving average crossover so let's say 2050 they follow this 2050 moving average crossover let's say three days it works fourth and fifth day it doesn't work they conclude that this strategy is useless and they completely move out of it and bring try a different strategy. So again they try one more strategy and if it doesn't work for 2-3 days, so they are again going to dump that and move on to another strategy. So this is not the way how it is going to work. You have to stick on to that irrespective of the result. So for example, let's say a, a strategy has a probability of 60%. So if a strategy has a probability of 60%, it doesn't mean that out of every 5 trades you take, 3 trades has to be profitable. Or out of every 10 trades you take, 6 trades has to be profitable. So first, in the first 10 trades, it can only be profitable for 4 trades. But if you do 100 trades, for sure 60 trades are going to be profitable. So this is one thing you have to keep in mind. So why can't people stick on to one particular strategy? That is because they have no data regarding profitability, strategy risk and probability. Once when you know or once when you have the data regarding profitability, probability and risk, you don't mind sticking on to a particular strategy. So this is the second most important thing. So we are going to address each and everything in the strategy we are going to build. So that's the reason I'm going to tell you what is the exact problem people are going to face. So when you build the strategy, you will get to know why exactly the strategy is going to work and why it is so good. So if I give you the data telling that this is the probability, so you do it, no problem, you do it. Uh, so this is the probability, this is the profitability and this is the risk you have. So that means you will be confident enough to do it. Even if you lose money today, you will come, do, come and do it tomorrow again because you have the data. So this is what we are going to provide you, complete set of data which will build confidence in you to repeat the strategy over and over again. So next, 
discretion in the trade so in this absolutely there is no discretionary trade so when i say absolutely no discretionary trade so uh, we want ask you to look at the chart we want ask you to do anything where there is some personal bias involved so everything is very mechanical very technical so if you repeat this if 10 other people repeat it or if everybody following this video repeat it everybody is going to get the same result so it's not that like if i feel the market is going to go up today i'm going to buy if the i feel the market is going to come down today i'm going to sell so anybody who is repeating it is going to get the same result so that's the beauty of building proper trading systems so next uh, the major problem uh, wrong position sizing and capital management you have 50000 you buy options for 25 30000 it becomes zero half of your capital is wiped out so uh, you take excessive leverage uh, so with 2 and 1/2 lakh you short 10 lots so you take excessive leverage and one wrong trade your uh, entire capital is wiped out so this is very 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 important and that's why i urge you to stay till the end so, so if you only see the three sections first three sections then don't execute the strategy till you see the capital management and position sizing so this is the most important part we have welcome to section 2 so here is where we are going to discuss about data and everything what we are talking now will be backed by data so i am not going to tell you anything where it is not backed by data and it is out of my experience okay so now right in front of you you can see a chart of bank nifty so here i have captured bank nifty data from 2005 to 2021 march so you have totally uh, 3826 trading days of data is what i have captured and here you have a big bank nifty chart so i am going to explain what this chart represents so you can see that number of days bank nifty has traded between a range so you can see here around 680 days bank nifty has uh, traded in the range of minus 2% to plus 0.3% almost 600 days bank nifty has traded in this range so another uh, 620 days and odd bank nifty has traded between minus a 0.7 to minus 0.2%. So basically I have consolidated all the data here uh, just for simplification purpose. And uh, we can see that uh, 2191 days, 2191 days bank nifty trades between plus 8 to minus 0.8% and 942 days bank nifty trades between 0.8 to 2% on the positive side or 0.8 to 2% on the negative side and more than 2% positive or more than 2% negatives there are 692 days so this is the complete consolidated data of bank nifty over 2191 days bank nifty trades in a range bound so it's 0.8 to minus 0.8 is more like range bound itself so you don't consider it as a very big move so 0.8 to minus 0.8 is more like a range bound So more than 55% of the days bank nifty has traded range bound. So next we'll consider between 0.8 to 2%. So this constitutes around 26-27%. So 942 out of 3826 trading days bank nifty has shown a trend, uptrend or a downtrend. So it's slightly trending, not very uh, pretty much big trend. It's a slight trending move, uh, 0.8 to 2%. more than 2% we will consider it as highly trending so first is range bound slightly trending and highly trending so we have around 20% of the days when bank nifty is um, highly trending so we have a complete set of data and you can see that uh, most number of times that is more than 55% of the times market stays range bound and this is the exact reason why we are doing a short straddle so you can ask why not a short strangle by a short straddle i have done a video on that so you can see that if you are using your computer you should have a pop up on top so you can click that and we are going to see why we are doing a short straddle not a short strangle so you go and ask anybody what is the best move uh, for a range bound market everybody is going to tell you short straddle and based on the data we have understood that markets more or less are going to stay range bound and it is not just this there is not just 58% of the days when we are going to make profit so we are going to build a strategy in such a way that 
two out of three scenarios. So we have a uh, range bound, slightly trending, highly trending. So two out of these three scenarios should give us profit. Obviously, we can't profit out of all three scenarios. That is impossible uh, because if that was the case, then no one would have ever made a loss. So we will build a strategy such that we profit out of two of three cases which we have mentioned here. So what I'll be choosing is a range bound market, highly trending market. So together we have around 70% probability that we'll be making profit. And now I'm going to go through the strategy details and show you what exactly we will be doing. So I hope uh, you're happy with short doing a short strategy because you have a proper data why exactly we are doing a short straddle. Markets are more or less likely to remain range bound. So this is the exact reason why we chose short straddle. Welcome to the third session and this is the core of the strategy and I am going to tell you everything related to strategy in this particular session. How to exactly do a short straddle, then we are going to discuss how exactly to keep a stop loss and then I am also going to explain how exactly to do a short straddle, how exactly to keep a stop loss and then I'm also going to show you all the data regarding this particular strategy. So what is the first condition? You are going to enter the strategy at 1 pm sharp. So you create a short straddle at 1 pm sharp. I'm going to show you how you can create a short straddle at 1 pm sharp. So always remember create a short straddle at 1 pm sharp, the first condition. Second one. Uh, so how to create a short straddle is basically you are shorting at the money calls and puts. So at 1 p.m. whatever is at the money you are going to short bank nifty at the money calls and puts. So here we are talking about bank nifty. So I forgot to mention about that. So this is bank nifty short straddles what we are talking about because we saw the data also regarding bank nifty. So obviously we won't be doing anything else. Uh, so then for stop loss. So after you create a short straddle whatever is the premium you have received say call like i have an example for that so i'll show you if you sell the ce ce like for 300 rupees so just take your calculator type 300 plus 30 percent and whatever is the amount you are going to get put that as a stop loss for your ce leg so you can see here keep 30 percent of the premium collected for each leg as the stop loss so next let's say PE leg like you get it at 330 rupees so all you have to do take a calculator 330 plus 30 percent it is going to come to 429 put a stop loss at 429 this is all you have to do don't look at the charts don't you absolutely don't have to do anything else apart from this so I am again going to tell you what exactly you have to do I come to tra your trading terminal by 1250 at 1 o'clock see what level bank nifty is trading do a short straddle, sell ATM call, ATM put. Okay, then 30% of the premium collected on each leg. Let's say CE you sold it at 400, then 400 plus 30% is 520 rupees. 520 you are keeping a stop loss. Let's say PE you sell it at uh, 300, 300 plus 30% is going to come to 390. 390 you are going to keep a stop loss. This is the entire strategy. I know it sounds very simple and this is all you have to do, trust me. And I'm going to show you data of how exactly it has worked. So this is all you have to do and it is going to give you amazing results. And trust me with this, I'm going to show you the data really soon. So now I'm going to open Kite and I'm also going to show you how exactly can you execute this particular thing. So when we come to Kite here, so you can see I am focusing on one o'clock candle. So I'm just seeing the open price. So you don't have to actually do this also. Just see bank nifty on top and you're going to get to know the price. So we, what is the closest round figure to this? What is the closest round figure to this? The closest round figure to this is 32. 300. So if it was below 50, you would have done 32, 200, but now you do 32, 300. So next, what you have to do is basically short 32, 300 calls and puts. I'll just go here and see what was the level because um, I don't have an idea of how much exactly it was. So uh, it was trading in the range of 440. So this was trading, CE was trading in the range of 450. So we'll just round it off. Uh, but you keep uh, your stop losses on exact levels. So and here uh, at 3 o'clock, 
uh, it was again trading at 450. So we'll assume C was trading at 440, P was trading at 450. So you keep it on your uh, levels. So all you have to do is enter 440 plus 30 percent. So 572 is the stop loss for your call option and for your put option stop loss is going to be 585. So this is how you keep your stop loss and you finish your trade. So this is all you have to do and this is as simple as that. Just do a short straddle, look at what are the premiums, place a stop loss and finish it off. So finally your last condition, uh, exit your trade at 255. Whatever is the profit or loss, just look at it and close it. So this is all you have to do. Enter your system by um, 1 o'clock then come, with, come out of it by uh, 255. So in middle, you can just close the system and go and come back. So if you are not doing huge quantity, just place a stop loss market. But if you are doing huge quantity, make sure that uh, you don't leave the system and go. Because if you place stop loss limit, there are some chances someday it might miss hitting the stop loss. But if you keep stop loss market with uh, less quantity, then uh, there is no issue at all. So you can leave the system and come back. And uh, why exactly are we doing this? Uh, one. Uh, the most important reason why we are entering after 1 and exiting at 255 is it's easy to execute. Why do you want to sit from morning and keep adjusting your positions? Very easy to execute. Just enter at 1, come out at 255. Just hardly 2 hours. Then during this time itself, you are going to get highest theta decay even on a Thursday and other days you are going to see some very good theta decay happening post 1 o'clock. And then there is low probability of V-shaped moves. If you see from morning, so there might be a chance that the market might go down initially. Later half there will be some buying and the market will go up. So uh, otherwise let's say the market might go up initially, later half there will be some selling and the market might come down. But if you enter your trade late, you are not going to have any such issue. So there will be hardly very uh, less amount of times where there will be a V-shaped move. Finally we are coming out at 255 uh, again for these particular reasons. and. After 3, there might be increase in volatility which will push up the option prices and then the market might also start trending in one direction. So for both the reasons, you are out at 255. So it's just a 2 hour execution. Now we are going to see the data regarding the same. So if you had executed this strategy from January 2017, so totally you would have executed it for 53 months and out of which 51 months are profitable. There are only 2 months where you would have made a loss. So I am showing this for 10 lots. So you can basically divide it by 10 for 1 lot. So you can see the consistency in profit. You, uh, you can uh, let's just go to 2019. You see you have made 31,000, 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 89,000. Then you only lose 1000 rupees. Again 73,000, 4000, 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 40,000, 2 lakh, 29,000, 1 lakh and 9000. Look at this, uh, 2019 alone would have given you 10 lakh rupees of profit just by doing it 1 o'clock and this is by 10 lots. And 2018, 30,000, 90,000, uh, 2018 there is no uh, month with no loss at all. So this is even more amazing. So 40,000, 1 lakh, 38,000, 28,000. So you can just uh, have a look at the data. You can pause the video and have a look at the data. You can see the consistency in returns. So there are only two months where you have actually lost money. Apart from that, you have made some brilliant. Uh, you have made some brilliant profits over the years. So all you had to do was enter at one o'clock, come out at two fifty-five. It was as simple as that. And look at even during the months where you have lost. Look at this. You have only lost two thousand rupees in month of March, and you have only lost one thousand rupees in month of May. So it is as simple as this. So now we are going to see the another chart. You can see this is how your cumulative profits would have looked like. So over time you would have made profits around of around 36 lakh over 4 years just by repeating this. There is no compounding nothing. 10 lots from 2017 to today. So you haven't even increased the lot size. So this is all you had to do and this is how your cumulative P and L would have looked like. You can see there is such consistent raise in your P and L. So you might make small small loss every day but over time it makes sure that you are going to go up 
and eventually make more profit than what you have lost you can see that happening everywhere we are going to have a small dip but over time we are going to recover and go up that's the reason it is very important to keep repeating this consistently uh, no matter what so we'll be moving on to strategy summary so from jan 2017 to may 13 2021 you can see you have made totally 36 lakh 80 thousand and weekly average profit is around 16,000 rupees. This is what we are discussing with 10 lots. So weekly average you have made. So every week on an average you would have made around 16,000 rupees. And every day you would have made an average of 3,000 rupees profit with 10 lots. So the maximum profit, the day when you have earned the maximum profit, that is around 54,000. And the day where you had your maximum loss, it was around 1,31,000. We had totally 228 uh, weeks, so we had totally 228 weeks and you have made an average of uh, 16,000 every week and totally out of total number of trading days, you can see that uh, 761 trading days has been profitable and 311 trading days have been loss making, which means you have a probability of making profit around 71% of the times and you can see your risk to reward is also one is to one so you are most likely to make around nine thousand you are uh, losing around ten thousand but this probability of 71 percent is what saves you is what is going to help you a lot so lot size you can see 20 that is 10 lot short input 10 lot short and call so total lot size is 20 and max drawdown is two lakh seventy nine thousand so I am going to explain uh, what exactly is max drawdown. So max drawdown is basically the fall from the peak to trough. So you can see that from here we have fallen till here and then we again bounce back. So this is called as a drawdown. So from here we have come till here. So this is called as a drawdown. From here we have come till here. This is a drawdown. So the fall from the peak to trough is called as drawdown. And what is the maximum drawdown till you, uh, you have had till now? That is around. 2,79,000 so it doesn't mean that one day you have lost so much so you would have gained a little here lost a big amount here gained a little here lost here gained a little here lost here again eventually you would have come back up and made some profits so that is around 2,79,000 so return to max drawdown ratio is almost around 3 which means uh, if your max drawdown is around 2,79,000 we'll round it off to uh, 3 lakh or 2,79,000 your expected return is three times of this every year so you can expect around 8 lakh rupees every year so so for example if you are earning 50 percent then your risk is around uh, 15 to 16 percent so if you are earning 60 percent uh, your max drawdown is just going to be around 20 percent so this is what the ratio suggests and you can see your max winning streak uh, it is 26 days which means 26 days continuously you would have made a profit you have max losing streak for 7 days which means uh, over and over again you would have lost continuously for 7 days. You can also see the total stop loss um, uh, hit days when both the stop losses were hit where no stop losses were hit and uh, where one stop loss was hit. So you can see that summary also. So this entirely gives you complete statistics re regarding the strategy. So now you are pretty confident in going and executing this so today if you have a loss you don't have to worry because you know that there can be maximum losses for seven days continuous and you can also have a max drawdown of 2,79,000 so when you have all the data with you you can easily go and execute it so this is very important in um, before doing any trading strategy that is to have proper data regarding the trading strategy so this will help you or give you more confidence in going and executing it so you can go back and uh, look at the charts again you can go back and look at the data monthly data again so how it is going to look so this is the entire strategy it is very simple just do a short straddle keep 30 percent stop loss exit at um, entry at 1 pm exit at 2 55 pm so this is as simple as that and I hope uh, you guys have liked the strategy and you start executing it soon. So next I am going to discuss about the most important part which is margin management and risk management. So hope you guys have uh, liked the strategy. So uh, this is only for educational purpose before implementation just paper trade it for some time. Only if you are comfortable with implementation then consult your financial advisor and then implement it. So it's just for educational purpose only.
Next, uh, we come to the most important part that is margin management and uh, risk management. And um, this is what I told you earlier also. So this is a must watch part. So here uh, to execute this strategy right now with the current margin system, you only require 90,000. And from September 1, even if your uh, entire margin goes away, you still need only 1,80,000 per lot. So this is a uh, per lot I'm talking, not for 10 lots. So still in spite of this even though you can do it for very less money by hedging you can just do it for 60,000 you are going to execute one lot only if you are having 2,50,000 and this is a must why because if you have 2,50,000 and you can see the max drawdown is um, for 10 lots is 2,79,000 which means uh, for one lot it is 27,000 it is just going to be around 11% but if you end up executing four lots or five lots just for a capital of two and a half lakh, it is going to be 50%. So for the same reason, only if you have two and a half lakh rupees, you are going to execute one lot. Otherwise, don't do the strategy. We'll work on something else, right? So this is a very important thing to follow. Just because you can go 10 lots, just because broker gives you margin and you can go five lots, don't do it at all. Don't do it at any cost. Even with the new margin system, with everything being removed, you just need 1,80,000. But still, you are going to execute it only if you have two and a half lakh. So this is what makes the difference. This is what may, has made the difference for asset optionables also. Proper risk management and proper margin management is going to keep you in the market for very long and it is going to be very profitable for you also. So if you are earning 80,000 on an average for 2.5 lakh, so you saw that the average profit was around 80,000. So 80,000 on 2.5 lakh is almost close to 30% which is huge so 30 percent a year is huge and the max risk you are taking is just around 11 percent so it is the strategy as such is really good so you can go two lots and make your return go to 60 percent but is it worth it no so make sure that you follow this irrespective of whatever capital you have if you have 10 lakh go only four lots if you have seven and a half lakh go only three lots so and repeat this for three months at least so don't judge the strategy just by doing it for 10 days 20 days you know i have already showed you the data how exactly it is going to work do it for three months at least and then come to a conclusion whether this works or not so am i telling you guys this is the best strategy out there absolutely not so you can make many tweaks and modifications to this particular strategy and make it better so uh, there are many things which can be done and you can also write down in your comment section uh, which is the best strategy you have come across and you can share it with other viewers also and you can also write down what are the tweaks you can make to improvise also so we at optionables uh, specialize in this uh, building system based trades and we execute them so i hope you guys have liked the video please uh, drop in the comment section what do you think of the strategy and also suggest different things so we will also make videos on the same and you can also check out our intraday trading videos uh, right on the top so i hope you guys have liked the video please do subscribe to the channel and share this video with as many as possible because it will motivate us to do more such content thanks a lot